Hello and welcome to our webinar series where we're going to every time uh, we interview someone for our webinars and we, we have posted on YouTube uh, a 30 minute or so in, uh, interview with our with our current guest. Every time we do this through this coming year, we'll also record a nice short one so you can just get a little taste of what what our uh, 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 what our interviewees, our experts that we brought in ha have to say. And uh, today we're very glad to launch this year of, of, of learning. Uh, we're so glad to have friend of Lyra, Dr. Brent Boltemeyer from uh, the Texarkana area in Northeast Texas. And we're very glad to have him alongside uh, us today. And please check out the longer uh, interview as well. But right now, today, we're going to talk about uh, how one step someone can take to improve their health nutritionally. But first, Brent, uh, give us just a little bit about yourself. Okay, thanks for having me. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I'm a practicing chiropractor. And like you said, in Texarkana, Texas and Northeast, been here 30 years. Uh, I've been incorporating nutritional counseling in my practice for the past 25 of those years and uh, have had the benefit of having a father-in-law who lives very close, who is really into organic gardening and raising cattle and livestock on a regenerative type farm, a 30 acre hobby farm close. And so had the benefit of seeing how all that process works and, and uh, being able to enjoy the benefits of, of that work that he puts out there. So anyway, I'm excited to share a little bit of what I've learned over the, my 30 years of experience in, in, in uh, seminars and, and experiences with my patients. All right. Well, let's, let's launch right into it. Uh, what would you say are the, the, the top things, I don't want to give you a number, but the top number of things that, uh, that a person can do nutritionally to improve their health? What are the top things that you suggest to, to your patients in general? Of course, every patient's going to have their own specific things, but, but in general. Yeah, so, so the, the, the main areas that I encourage my patients to look into, first, uh, let's try to avoid the foods that aren't going to provide any benefit for us. So uh, your denatured, your, your highly processed food that come in bags and boxes and, and packages typically have very little, if any, nutritional benefit to them. So we're looking at foods like donuts and cakes and cookies and, uh, you know, all the box junk foods. Uh, uh, anything that's uh, you they have been used uh, with some hydrogenated vegetable oils or processed oils like that, chemicals that just literally, if there's a laundry list of of 20 ingredients in, in something you're eating, it's probably not going to be very health healthful for you. So I uh, discourage that. But what I do try to encourage uh, my patients to look at first. Uh, let, let's go with the most nutrient dense foods we can eat. That would be your animal foods. And specifically, uh, ideally, it would be excellent if you could find a local farmer who grows free range livestock cattle or, or has free range chickens where you can uh, take advantage of the chickens themselves or, or the eggs that those chickens lay. The, the nutrient content of organically free range animals are, are so much higher that you there's not any other food groups that you can even get close to matching the, the vitamin and mineral content within those foods. So I really encourage patients to look at that. And within the context of animal foods, even more ideal would be organ meats. Uh, those aren't particularly high in everybody's list of foods to eat, but they are very, very beneficial as far as the, the health of those particular, especially things like liver and heart, uh, lungs, kidneys, those foods can, they can, you can consume all those and they have a lot of nutrient values to them. So I would really encourage people to try to take a look to expand their palate a little bit and, and try some things maybe they haven't tried before with them that has a lot of health benefits. Um, Again, when you then if you're looking at vegetables, uh, you want to take a look at the farmers market. Whatever is available in season, those are going to be the the highest 
um, nutrient valued foods at that particular point. If you're, if you're grocery shopping, uh, ideally you want to spend your money wisely in organic foods. They're going to have higher nutritional content, lower pesticide and chemical content. So a lot of health benefits there for doing that. Uh, another food group sort of that most people ignore or maybe don't take advantage of would be your fermented foods. Uh, those have a lot, a lot of good uh, benefits for your digestive tract, which in turn improves your immune system and a lot of other benefits too. So look at things like sauerkraut and, and kefir and pickles. And uh, if you want to try something really fun, kombucha, we make kombucha at our house. is is really a tasty tea that has a lot of good bacteria in it. Um, nuts and seeds are another food that's probably not taken advantage of. Uh, I encourage patients to try to uh, soak them first. Uh, the cell walls of the seeds are sort of high, hard to digest. And if you soak them and dehydrate them, uh, and maybe even you can bake them in the oven for a little while, those are very, have a lot of good healthy fats and nutrients in them. So that's another, and speaking of healthy fats, you want to look to things like butter and lard, uh, cook some things in bacon grease, which well, it's very healthy. Um, those oils have a lot of benefit that people don't realize you can take advantage of when you're doing some cooking. Uh, coconut oil, if you're going to cook, that's a very heat stable oil that has some health benefits. Um, another uh Thing that we try to do at our house is bone broth. So if you're if you're eating uh, some kind of uh, chicken or if you're eating some some beef that has maybe some bones, if you could throw them in a crock pot and put some little bit of vinegar and and some water in there and chop a few vegetables and let that cook for for 24 hours, that broth is really really healthy to drink. Or you can use it in soups and stews. So that's a, some really easy to use items that people don't typically use but have a lot of good health benefits so that would probably be the list that i would start with for people to to look at to, to really help improve their 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 health it's, it's a good starting point and then of course i'm i'm really encouraging and trying to do some exercise and some things outside where you're getting some good fresh air and get some good sunshine getting the heart rate up those things are are very very helpful too. So the, the, those, that's probably my starting points for, for most of my patients. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Brent Boltmeyer, supporter of, of the Lutheran Institute of Regenerative Agriculture from uh, Texarkana, uh, Texas. Uh, my name, I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, Pastor Christopher Morundi. I'm the executive director or director or whatever of the Lutheran Institute of Regenerative Agriculture here in Southwest Iowa. It's a joy to be with you and uh, bring you these uh, these guests over the coming year. I encourage you to share these videos, get get the word out uh, about what we're doing out here in Southwest Iowa, and also about just this basic information, this, this wonderful information that we've be able to to hear today from Dr. Boltemeyer. We thank you so much, Brent. It's been a joy to be with you today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I have enjoyed it. <laughs>